We want to solve the equation cotangent x equals square root 3 for all solutions, give degree answers, use k to represent any integer. We will solve this equation using reference triangles and then verify these solutions on the unit circle as well as graphically. The first step is to recognize that the cotangent function value is positive. On the coordinate plane cotangent theta is equal to x divided by y, in order for x divided by y to be positive, both x and y must be positive or both x and y must be negative which means these solutions will be in the first quadrant where x and y are positive or the third quadrant where x and y are both negative. The next step is to determine the reference angle that gives a cotangent function value of square root 3. Having a cotangent function value of square root 3 should remind us of a 30, 60, 90 reference triangle shown here where a cotangent theta is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the opposite side. Notice the cotangent of 30 degrees is equal to square root 3 divided by 1, which equals square root 3. So now we sketch a reference angle of 3 degrees in the first and third quadrants. Let's also sketch the reference triangles. In the first quadrant, the opposite leg is 1, the hypotenuse is 2, the adjacent leg is square root 3. In the third quadrant, the opposite leg is negative 1, the hypotenuse is 2, and the adjacent leg is negative square root 3. Notice using both reference triangles, the ratio of the adjacent side to the opposite side is positive square root 3. And now we're going to determine these solutions. Let's first focus on the least positive angle in the first quadrant, this angle here, which we can see is 3 degrees. So we have x equals 30, but we want all the solutions, which means we need an expression for all the angles that are coterminal to 30 degrees. To find coterminal angles, we add multiples of 360 degrees, so if k is any integer, we have x equals 30 plus 360k, where the units of the expression would be in degrees. And now it's focused on the least positive angle in the third quadrant, which would be this angle here, which is 180 degrees plus 30 degrees, or 210 degrees, which gives us x equals 210. And then for all the coterminal angles, we add 360k, and the units would be degrees. So while these two expressions do give all the solutions, we can write a simpler expression or a single expression that gives all the solutions by recognizing that the cotangent function has a period of 180 degrees. We're looking at the coordinate plane. Notice how the terminal sides of the angles point in the opposite direction. So if we start with 30 degrees and then add 180 degrees, we would get the angle in the third quadrant of 210 degrees. And then if we add another 180 degrees, we get the next positive angle in the first quadrant, coterminal to 30 degrees. So a simpler way to express all solutions for this equation is x equals, let's start with 30, and then just add multiples of 180 degrees. So plus 180k, and the units would be degrees. So let's go ahead and give the solutions using the simpler expression or the single expression. And now let's verify these solutions on the unit circle. It's a little more challenging to determine cotangent function values on the unit circle since cotangent theta is equal to x divided by y. But if we take a look at the points on the unit circle, except for the points on the axes, notice all the denominators are 2, and therefore to find x divided by y, we can just focus on the quotient of the numerators. Notice at 30 degrees, focusing on the numerators, x divided by y would be square root 3 divided by 1, which is square root 3 and also at 210 degrees, again, just looking at the numerators, x divided by y would be negative square root three divided by negative one, which is square root three. But again, because the period of the cotangent function is 180 degrees, or because the terminal sides of these two angles point in the opposite direction, we can write the solution as the simplified expression, x equals 30 plus 180k with the units of degrees. And finally, let's also verify this graphically. In red, we have the graph of y equals cotangent x. In blue, we have the graph of y equals square root of 3. The points of intersection represent these solutions. So the first angle we found in the first quadrant was 3 degrees, represented by this point of intersection. The angle we found in the third quadrant was 210 degrees, represented by this point of intersection, which again, notice how we can get by adding 180 degrees to 30. If we keep adding 180 degrees, we can find more and more solutions in the positive direction. And if we subtract 180 degrees, 
we can find solutions in the negative direction. So this graph does verify our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.